What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So first things first, I want to thank Marco so much for doing the background for the VODs, the background for the streaming, and our insignia and banner. Buddy, I greatly appreciate all the work that you have done. You have made this channel look far more professional, and I greatly appreciate it. So, with all the kudos being said, we're going to move forward into Zombie Gunther, Ring General of Decay. Now, there's two solid builds for Gunther. We talked about them both during the Five Star Bronze video. We were only able to speculate on the Triple Yellow at that time, because you need to be Six Star Bronze for the Triple Yellow to kick in. So, now that he is, we can do both of those. Now, I might not be able to do the triple yellow the way that or show its real viability on or for feuding but i'm going to do my very best because tour and fuse are completely different the mps are different the perks are different everything's different but this is the build i wanted to go with first because this is the build i wanted to try during feud but with the perk system being what it is now this one wasn't able to be used the triple yellow was and it worked to perfection you get a chance to watch that few there's a few times where i am messing with him a little bit and then we ironed him out completely it's just getting the rotation down now is the top priority so going back into the triple purple because i can talk about triple yellow all day you're going to do zombie attack generate 44 random submission gems and do 379,000. that's because of xavier over here for four turns now the trainers I have set up here, this is for tour. Also because I wanted to show this portion off. I don't think a lot of people know this. But uh, Kevin Owens, new face of America, now goes up to 45% on his silence gem damage. From what I've gathered thus far, and looking at all the trainers, this is the best silence gem trainer for people who don't spend a crap ton of money. Don't get me wrong. I am sure there's another one who is a lot better, but since I have the worst fucking luck when it comes to any sort of pulls ever, or milestones for that matter, um, I'm a little bit, um, side note from all of this, I'm a little bit perturbed today, okay? Bam Bam was released this weekend. I capped the Superstar event portion, which is all the bonus cards and everything like that, I capped that. I had every bonus for, or I had both bonuses for all of the tours, everything like that. I spent 160 on this just because I wanted Bam Bam. Because of the simple fact, Bam Bam's freaking broken. I am still at the end of the day, almost 500 shards away from uh, Bam Bam right now, having achieved all of that. And the main reason for it, and I am 100% positive for this, is there was no freaking tour yesterday. It was a blitz. The blitz shortchanged me twice. So when you go to go into the blitz and it says server unavailable because for some reason the server disconnected from you, even though you have one gig Wi-Fi, it kicked me out. So I go back in, ticket gone. So that cost me some bags there. So... The other portion where it's screwed twice, those blitz tickets refreshed every 12 hours. It says on there every 12 hours. This last one was supposed to recharge so I, we can get two blitz tickets today, and those two blitz tickets were supposed to help. Did we get those blitz tickets? No, because it switched to 24 hours in the last one. It tells you 12 hours. It should have refilled at 2 o'clock this morning, and it didn't. Scopefly, please fix this. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Please fix. Please fix. Back to Gunther, and my mild rant is over. These trainers can be switched up. If you were lucky enough to get Zombie Cody last month, and you get him up to six-star bronze, you toss him where Johnny Gargano's at. And if you are lucky enough to have a Santa Hogan above 17K, you put him where, St or where Super St or, uh, Molly Holly's at. I almost called her Super Stacy. Where Molly Holly's at. This is going to ensure during feuds that at least the zombie attack is ready to go. Dig Two Graves is going to take a turn. Playing Taps is going to take a turn. You're going to need to either give up Kevin Owens for Sammy. 
Where is he at? Yep. You have to give him up, or you're in, you can either give up Kevin Owens for Tech Sammy, or you can keep Kevin Owens and toss uh, Santa Hogan where Molly is at. That's going to at least give you one swipe to get these done, but you're going to lose out on submission gems. So if you really, in, ter- or in regards to feud, if you want to run triple purple, you're going to want Tech Sammy where KO is at, which is ultimately going to decrease your value here. But if you have Cody, Cody is going to increase the value. It's a give and take. You're either going to take away from the silence gem damage to increase the MP to get it off faster, or you're going to keep the silence gem damage and just hope for a purple match. Either way, that is your prerogative. That is the way you want to play. That's the way you want to play. Me personally, going into a feud, I'm going to run Sammy over KO. I'm going to have, uh, I don't think I'm going to have Santa Hogan in. Ultimately, you have one of two options here. The finisher, you're going to need to swipe. There's no question in my mind you will need to swipe or you'll need a prop. One or the other, unless a line bonus stipulates otherwise. So say you got the chase card and you have that second slot in the top row that needs filling. Gunther can go right there. You don't have to have um, a double MP. You're already getting the plus three move charge from all of that. So that works there. But I'm about to go off the rail because of all the possibilities. So let's hop into a fight. I want to see exactly how much damage this does. Also, my belt. Right now, I only have Fury 2 set on him. Just one because I need this final slot unlocked. We are exactly... Nope, knock it off. We are 6,100 metal parts away from unlocking full belt. I do love the fact that he has an anti-stun belt on him, but you can put whatever. The plate here, I have not decided what plate I would want. I think I want to go for an MP plate. And to be honest, I might do the smoke. The reason I might do the smoke is, one, I have it available. And two, it is an MP plate. Does Gunther use blue? No. But it also offers up an alternative for you in regards to turn two. Okay? So my recommendation, I'm going to just toss it on now because I have 10 remaining points. My recommendation is to go with the MP plate for the triple purple. Now, if you don't want to run the triple purple and you want to run triple yellow, I don't know what plate you're going to use. But I just don't. Um, I don't see one being extremely viable. I guess you can go with anti. If I really wanted to be an ass which I have been known to want to be, I would switch this out for Escape Artist for the triple yellow, just from the simple fact that people might run a sub against him. So with him being an anti-stun and throwing on the anti-submission might be enough to just make him pretty much have people hate him. So that's what I think I'm going to do. So in two weeks, two and a half weeks, I'll switch that out for the anti-stun or anti, anti-sub. anti So he'll be anti-stun, anti-sub, full Fury 2, should be a force of nature to deal with. So let's hop in against LWO Eddie here and try out our triple purple. Alrighty. So this is kind of what it's going to look like in Feud. If you run the double, it's going to be similar to this if you run double, okay? So we have one of two options here. The best option that I can think of is just to swipe because we have the swipe available. During Feud, one of the things I did notice that was a repeated thing was a lot of people's moves were nowhere near charged. So I'm going to take that as a sign that in Feuds to come, there's going to be less double MP and more turn twos, turn threes. So if that is what the case is going to be, then I highly recommend swiping on your first move just to make sure that you have all your bases covered. And you just went for a cascade upon which cascades are made, aren't you? Okay, so we've got a good amount of of silence gems here. Let's smack him around a little bit and see what comes of it. Four million, not bad, not bad in the slightest. To me, this is more of the safe build than anything else. What are we looking at damage-wise at 40%? 1 million. Not bad. Not bad. 
could be a lot worse. But again, we're going with a control factor here with our submission. So we're going to get hit. We're going to take a little bit of damage. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's also not a good thing either. And that's where that blue come into play. I don't necessarily need it, but it still helps. The MP plate will work perfectly if you're going triple purple and you're just really wanting to charge up and everything like that. That's basically what it's there for. With all of these silence gems on the board, this should be a pretty solid shot. It was six million. That's not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit slower. A little bit slower. Um, I want to say it's probably two turns slower. Yeah, this is about two turns slower, maybe three turns slower, but it does the job. That's the key. It does the job. So we're back out of there. And we're going to go back in with what is ideally, which in my opinion is his best build. Triple purple is going to be phenomenal at six star silver because of the gem damage that that's 100 percent guaranteed. At six star bronze, though, I look at it in a little bit different light. At six star bronze, I prefer going with the triple yellow in this moment. Again, one of those portions where having the sub break plate on him is going to be beneficial because I can bounce in between all of these moves or all of these. Yeah, these two move sets I can bounce between. So this is going to look a little bit wonky, but you're going to have to follow my train of thought. So in Feud, there is no MP reduction. There is no, uh, there, there wasn't, at least right now, with the new system, there wasn't a negative MP reduction. There wasn't a positive MP reduction. There was no MP at all. Um, we did have one line bonus in the center that said it gives plus one move charge. So that one you have to be strategic about. Who do you want in that spot? I put Gunther in the bottom row. So ultimately, I went with Kofi first. Kofi charges up both of these first round, not a problem at all. The main thing is, is the pirate tactics, or no, sorry, the bite, the bite. It charged out the pirate tactics and the lacerating chop. The bite is a nine MP charge. So with the plus or with the Kofi on there, we're already looking at five MP from the start out. I threw on NWO Hogan because NWO Hogan does plus two when you break uh, any sort of colors. It gets plus two MP. So by breaking three of the yellow from the lacerating chop, that's giving us five MP for the bite. Now, that makes it to where you can do pirate tactics a few times. You can do bite twice. You can do lacerating chop a few times. So ultimately, you're dropping. I think I dropped a six star silver turn two because I messed up the rotation. But ultimately, that it took down a six star silver turn two at six star bronze a lot of cards can't do that right now so i mean a lot of cards can it's 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 a pretty stiff margin but see ultimately even still in here it's not fully charged which is fine so we're hit pirate tactics do two million three hundred eighty seven thousand lacerating chop we're gonna go and hit here and then go bink hit this so it's 12 gems to get it all the way over to the pin or to get the pin bar all the way over. So by doing this, we've already break, broken three. We have nine remaining. So technically we wouldn't be able to hit this again. But we can go here, smack, go here, charge up. And because of that Hogan now, this is technically will be at five. Uh, two or perks give plus two as well. So with Hogan, this goes up. So we're going to hit this one more time. We're going to smack there. The downside is it doesn't trigger. So you can go one of two routes here. Since he's a six-star bronze, I really don't want to hit this again because I'm not going to steal that much health. <clears throat> so I'm just going to hit here. It's going to take away the two million. And then we're going to go here, and we're just going to light him up. And this should keep him down. A majority of the cards could not handle this last hit. Especially a six-star bronze. Now, against a six-star silver, what I would have done there is I would have done the damage to myself one more time and dropped me down to below 50% health just so I could steal 
4 million more health. Against a six star silver, tactics do change. Now you are gonna walk, sometimes you walk away with no health left, other times you walk away with full health left. He is an HP user, but with how much HP is actually available in the game right now, between the prize wall, between the milestones and everything else, you should have a good storage amount of HP at this point. So triple per, or triple yellow at six star bronze will drop a six star silver. It drops a six star bronze turn one. Six star silvers, it I've done strikers. Striker, it dropped them turn one because striker has the lowest health at six star silver. Against a showboat, it took two turns. So I did, I tested it against both a showboat, which has the highest HP pool, and a striker, which has the lowest, just to see what came of it. But ultimately, I didn't feel during this feud like I had to fill in all the slots with all my silvers and run the same cards over and over and over again. I was actually able to test six star bronzes against six star silvers without feeling punished. So to be honest, scope lie. Bravo for the new perk system. You brought back feuding of old, the old days where we didn't worry about MP reduction. We didn't worry about plus MP charges. We worried about line bonuses and what cards can go where. We weren't locked into a particular set of cards. Now it's a wide variety. You can have fun with feuds, and that is the reason why I'm continuing down this road. The only complaint I have right now and I'm going to say this because I need to have a little bit of a vent portion in this game right at this moment. This weekend was Bam Bam. Okay, if you were on stream with me on Saturday, you saw my excitement that I could finally, finally cap the individual ch or, uh, bonus card uh, event. I capped that. It was 100% done. I got Bam Bam's 100% belt. It was phenomenal. Pre greatly appreciated it. But what screwed me out of getting Bam Bam this time and I spent money on this, was the simple fact that now feuding on the final day doesn't have a tour. It has blitzes. That turns it into a random amount of points. If we had just had the tour, I would have gotten to 22 out of 23. I would have been within 100 range of Bam Bam, and it would have been just fine. It would have been understandable. But since we went into a blitz, the blitz is glitchy as well. The Blitz didn't let me do one of my Blitzes. One of them. So there's three bags I didn't get. There's five extra shards I didn't get because the freaking server disconnected when I have the highest internet I've ever had in my life. So please bring back the tours. The Blitz is awesome. You know, you get a chance for, feud, or for uh, feud medallions. That's great. Have that still be in there. But give us a final tour to go with because that can give us our last bit that we need, especially for people who cannot spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get these new cards. You're making it easier and easier and easier to get to these cards. And maybe, just maybe, this rant will be completely different at the end of the month because last or at the end of last month was a successful end of the month because everybody was able to at least get one of the chase cards. So I'm hoping that trend continues. But with all that being said, with that rant being done, I'm going to end this video the way I end all my videos. Life can be fun if you allow it to be. We'll see you in the next one.